wanna, this video is going to be fast and I'm going to cover a bunch of things in it. I am Heather. Thank you for joining me. For everybody who came to see me at Kidvention, it was so much fun. I love to see everybody. So make sure you're following me on Instagram or Facebook and social media because I am going to Canada and I'm going to be teaching classes there. So I have a workshop. If you want to know more information about it, visit bodicey.com. A CA and check out all those classes. I'm also going to be a world clown in Orlando next month in March and then I'm going to be heading to BodyCon in Dallas. So I have a very full schedule and I want to meet you guys and give each of you a Heather hug. So well, to start off this video I want to show you guys a product that I love. So um, if you've been following me you know I'm all about business and professionalism and looking really good because when you look good it sends a really good message to your customers. So I wanted to show you guys this chair. This is the Easy Up Director's Chair. It comes in this awesome, sturdy carrying bag. And I know you're thinking, look, I think it's the same height as me. That gives you like a reference how tall I am. Um, but it comes with this awesome bag, which is a great tool to keep it looking good. Um, it is a super nice brushed aluminum, lightweight, all black. Uh, truthfully the best chair um, there are less expensive director's chairs on the market but I've done my research I've used them all this one has held the test of time uh, really good chair really good fabric holds about 350 pounds I prefer to stand when I face paint some of you might like to sit down I like to face paint because I'm very comfortable and close with the kids um, if you're concerned about them falling out of the back of the chair our good friend Aubrey Jean, I will put her link in here as well. She sells the cutest chair covers, so check her out. That will solve that problem. But the coolest part is these chairs are on sale at Silly Farm this month. So this is kind of like my little product intro before we get started with my favorite model, Leah. Okay, I want to thank everyone for joining us. Of course, my favorite model in the world, Leah. She has been such a trooper today. I have painted her at least five or six times, and she's still hanging in there, right? She's the bomb. This month, I released a brand new line of cool new rainbow cakes. And whenever I create rainbow cakes, I always like to create designs with them. Or so, I, I've been doing a lot of parties lately where little girls want cheetah eyes or tiger eyes, but they don't want like a full cheetah face or a full tiger face. So I did this kind of like rainbow tiger cheetah eye design to share with you guys. It's super fast, super easy. It's also really good to practice those brush strokes. So let's get started. So I start off with white paint and my favorite brush ever, the little drop brush. The reason I love this brush, really good size to go in the corners of the eyes. So once I load it up really well, I lay, I lay down my white first so that I can paint, give it time to dry before I paint on top of it. So it has that nice curve right on the end. Close your eyes. So I start off in the corner of her eye, kind of give it that little dip down inside of there, and then give it that elevated cat eye. What I do on one side, want to do on the other. Then, she's already wearing lipstick because I painted her several times, but I'm going to just go over the muzzle for her. So using the corner of the nose right inside of there, I use that as a guideline, come out right to the edge of the lip. Now I'm going to take my pink lemonade rainbow cake and I spritzed it with water. And then I'm just going to take my sponge and just kind of soap up all that moisture rub it across there till I have a good generous amount. Using the white, I'm just going to start at the corner of her eyebrow, kind of bring in that color right on top. So then what I do on that side, I'm going to do on this side. Just bring in that little bit of color right there then I pinch my sponge so that I'm only getting a portion of it. And I'm just going to, from her hairline here, just tap to get almost just like I'm lifting up her cheekbone. What you do on one side, you'll do on the other side. Just, 
Just now once that this is dry, that's why I like to put down the white first, then go on top with the rainbow cake so I give the white enough time to totally dry. I'm going to pick up my black paint and my Paint Pal Swirl brush. I think this is a Swirl 4. If you haven't checked out my new brushes, definitely check them out. Okay, so I start off with the nose. I like to use the bottom of the nose as my guideline. So I use the tip of the nostril, kind of press it. That way you follow the natural shape of their nose. And once I do the nose, I'm gonna allow that area to dry. I'm gonna have her close her eyes. And I start at the corner of the eye, press my brush down to get this little kind of wing tip. And then I'm just going to trace the eye all the way up. Now I'm gonna come down and go right underneath her eye and pull it back, just like that. I press down, pull it down a little bit, then I trace her eye all the way up, bring it back down, all the way down to a thin tip, and then come back with these little whisker lashes. Okay. I'm gonna start at the top of my rainbow cake by a very straight brush, thin, thick, and you wanna roll it when you get halfway so that you finish up on a very thin line, okay? Next, I'm gonna go the opposite direction, so turn a little way. So straight line, press, lift it up, press and get thin again, okay? You really wanna keep your line work in threes. So I have my first line, my second line, and then I'll come back in with a third. And remember, you wanna keep it thin, thick, thin, or thick, thin, thick. Then in this space right here, you wanna make sure that your brush is pretty well loaded with paint, and I'm just going to create some markings and they get smaller as I head into the corner of the eye. Now you want them to travel all the way down, okay, and fill in that space. Now you notice I have a little bit more space here, so I'm going to do the same thing. Thin, thick, thin, finish it off on that kind of thin point, another one, thin, thick, thin, just like that. And finally, I can maybe fit one inside of here, another one, just like that. And then I can also fit some more of my markings right inside of that blank space, okay? So we're getting... Remember, thin, press, get thin towards the end, thin, thick, thin, coming out of here, and I'm going to create one more line to just frame it. So finally, what I'm going to do is just from the corner of the lip here, I'm going to connect to the nose. So I press my brush down. And as I'm coming up, you want the same effect. You want thin to thick. So I press my brush here, and I get thin again right there so that you're framing them out but giving it movement. Then I'm going to make a very thin line underneath her lip right there, kind of stretch it out as it gets to the bottom or to the top lip. And then I'm just going to create these very dainty whiskers and the, this part is optional you don't have to and then a few little markings inside of there okay now she already had lipstick on so I'm just going to kind of accentuate the bottom lip I'm gonna allow all that to dry I want that glitter to pop on her bottom lip the Magic Magenta is one of my favorite colors. Ooh, you like it too? Yeah. Close your eyes. Or, I mean. 
So you see I just tapped on a little bit of this glitter and then I'm also going to take a little bit more of this glitter and just kind of tap it on where the hot pink is. That way I don't overpower this design, still looks very good. So as you can see, this is a super fast girl tiger cheetah design. You don't have to cover their whole entire face for it to be beautiful and bright. And this is a great alternative for those kids who are brother and sisters who sit in your chair and the boy wants a full face tiger with fangs and teeth. And then the mom's like, don't pay my daughter like that. This is a great, great alternative. It looks pretty. You can just do the eyes if you want, not the mouth. Um, on teens, they love it too because it's kind of that lifted, cool, funky tiger eye. So, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for tuning in. I'm so excited. My channel has over 25,000 subscribers. So thank you guys for sharing uh, my YouTube with everyone. But make sure that you're following me on Silly Farm on Fabba TV. I have a free live class on Fabba TV next week, guys. So make sure you tune in on February 15th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The only way you're going to find out about this stuff is if you're keeping up with me. So I hope everyone has a great day. Happy painting. Follow my blog, paintpal.com. And have a great day, everyone.